In this video, we will discuss about root port election in STP. So there are two switches, switch 1 and switch 2. Now in STP, each non-root switch has only one root port and all ports of root port are designated ports. And we can verify it by using show spanning tree. And here we will see that this bridge is the root. That means switch 2 is the root bridge. And we can also see here that all its ports, that means fast Ethernet 0 by 23 and 24 are designated ports. Similarly, if we will see on switch 1 by using show spanning tree and here we will see that its fast Ethernet 0 by 23 port is the root port and fast Ethernet 0 by 24 port is the blocking port. Now moving to the election of root port. The election of root port is based on three things. First is root path cost that is the cost to reach the root bridge that means the port having lowest cost to reach the root bridge will become root port and the second thing is bridge id and the third one is port number but here we will see that both ports have the same cost that is 19 to reach the root bridge and also both ports have the same bridge id so the decision is goes to the port number and the port having lower port number will become root port that's why fast ethernet 0 by 23 port will become root port now if we will change the cost of fast ethernet 0 by 23 port to higher than the fast ethernet 0 by 24 port then fast ethernet 0 by 24 port will become root port so for this we will move to switch 1 and moving to the configuration mode then interface fast ethernet 0 by 23 then enter then to change the cost we will use a spanning tree then its cost and we will make it 25 then enter then exit now we will verify it by using show spanning tree and here we will see that fast ethernet 0 by 24 port will become the root port as it is having the lower cost to reach to the root bridge. So this is how root bridge election is takes place in STP. Thank you.